Hi, everyone. I apologize for posting a video, and there was no audio, at least when I was speaking. Let's just say you guys in the South, Alabama, Georgia, and Tennessee, well, Arkansas, a whole lot, 60 million under threat of large hail, tornadoes, high winds, and moderate flooding. Oh, okay. Well, the video that I posted without audio shows you all of the frequencies in use. This is loaded with high frequencies, which I will show you after this. Our big story tonight, weather, of course, millions of Americans in the path of some dangerous and severe weather, most of it in the south part of the country tonight. Thousands already without power in Texas, Louisiana, and Mississippi. The Storm Prediction Center says to be prepared for potentially massive tornadoes, various downpours, and potentially even the hail, or hail, I should say, the size of tennis balls. And damage has been left behind by multiple tornadoes today. The force so great a boat is now wrapped around a tree. That's a boat in Alabama. Trees and power lines also have been knocked down. Homes are nearly gone in some spots. High winds also blew down signs. Our News Nation weather team has been closely following these storms throughout the day. They continue to do so at this hour. Georgia Bailey, live for us in Mississippi tonight, but first back over to Chief Meteorologist Albert Rumo. And we're hearing now 21 tornado touchdowns so far today, most of which have been in the state of Alabama, some with the same supercell thunderstorm tracking from the southwest and moving up towards the northeast. And additional tornado touchdowns will be possible as we roll through the remainder of the night. So what's going on here? You'll see a counterclockwise spin in the atmosphere in the northeast corner of Oklahoma. That's an upper level area of low pressure. It's the same one we started tracking earlier this week and along the west coast. As it approaches the mid-south and the deep south, counterclockwise flow pulls in warm, humid air from the Gulf of Mexico. And also in the nose of these area of low pressures, a tremendous amount of upward motion in the atmosphere, almost like a vacuum. So it takes that moisture, it takes that instability, tosses it up, creates convection or thunderstorms. And we also have winds that change as you go up in height. And that change of winds called wind shear allows for a natural rotation in the atmosphere. And that's why that tornado threat has been so great so far today and continues here for tonight. So Alabama and at least the eastern portion of Mississippi under a tornado watch until 3 a.m. Northern areas of Mississippi until midnight. And then thunderstorms, they're severe coming into the New Orleans area under a tornado watch until a little bit later this evening as well. So there's the first line moving into the mid-Atlantic by tomorrow morning. The secondary line moving into Birmingham after midnight. Gusty winds potentially exceeding 60 miles per hour hail and embedded areas of tornadoes will be possible with that secondary line that's coming on in. And then tomorrow, mid-morning into the afternoon, a severe weather threat in the mid-Atlantic and the southeast. So we'll have another opportunity for multiple tornadoes for tomorrow. Places like Raleigh and Charlotte under a moderate risk. That's a level four out of five on that severe weather scale. So we'll be tracking severe weather this time tomorrow night. The good news, though, by this time tomorrow, it'll be mostly offshore in the Atlantic. Meteorologist Gerard Jabaley, 20 years of uh, storm chasing experience. He's on the ground in Mississippi. Gerard, earlier today, you did see a lowering, some rotation. What else have you seen? Rotation everywhere. Rotation everywhere. 21 tornadoes touching down. Really? Look at the size of this, and this is uh, in the deep south. Not sure where it is. <laughs> it's okay. Well, be safe, okay? All right, you've got a long night ahead of you. Alabama, Mississippi, Georgia, Tennessee. It's... Uh, Unfortunate, I have to say it, unfortunate that people will not look into weather modification. Unfortunate that we have so many liars like meteorologists who will not ever, ever inform their viewers the way, well, they're supposed to. They don't do the job that they are supposed to do inform their viewers of the truth. 
militaries around the world using a whole lot of technology to create, to intensify, to modify weather fronts. I have a playlist on my channel. It's called Weather Modification. I have over 200 videos on that playlist and several videos I talk about how man can create tornadoes. It's upsetting to see damage. Damage. Homes. I think about the very high price of lumber today and how many of our fellow Americans have been laid off. They don't have a job. How are they going to recover? How? This is live streams media and I can't play their videos. I'll get a copyright strike, but I'll play this again. We're going to turn now to that outbreak of tornadoes, hail and violent thunderstorms threatening tens of millions across the South. Tornadoes touched down today in several states, causing some serious damage. Watches and warnings are posted in more than half a dozen states from Oklahoma to Alabama. CBS's David Begno reports tonight from the danger zone. There was a tornado in Whistler, Mississippi that tore through this chicken farm today, shredding almost every building in sight. It was part of the massive front that's affecting more than 60 million people from Texas all the way to Georgia. Twisters touched down in rural communities throughout Mississippi and Alabama. There were hundreds of kids at the University of Alabama in Tuscaloosa who were forced to shelter in place today. Literally like a tornado. This driver got quite the surprise in his rearview mirror. It's so crazy going to Waynesboro, man. As he drove past a tornado that touched down right after lunchtime. Meanwhile, the powerful storm produced heavy rains and winds that shut down schools and even vaccination sites across parts of the Gulf Coast. Tonight, we are in central Alabama. The woman who lives in this home told me she was on her phone watching the live stream as the tornado got closer to her house. She heard them say, take cover. So she went in the bathtub with her baby and her boyfriend, put a mattress on top of them and literally watched as the storm approached and hit their home. Blew out all the windows on the home and the vehicle, but the family's okay. Nor one of the main weather guys in this area told people, folks, this was just the pre-show. The main force of this dynamic weather event rolls in tonight. All right. It was just the pre-show. Oh, the main force rolls in tonight. Don't you love how excited these people get talking about the damage from weather? They never do tell you the truth, though. It's the pre-show. And have you noticed when you're watching videos, even mainstream media's audio is not balanced? It, all right. So, strong, devastating tornadoes likely to hit Mississippi, Alabama. This was posted one hour ago, CNBC. Storms is a particularly dangerous situation, a PDS. That is a situation that is rarely issued, but when forecasters know there are going to be uh, strong to uh, possibly devastating tornadoes, uh, they always issue this. And so that's why we want everybody to pay close attention and hopefully have the safe place to go already mapped out. And hopefully you're there already. So here's what we have. The situation at hand right now, numerous warnings are in effect throughout Mississippi, Alabama, back through portions of western Tennessee, all the way up into southwestern Missouri now as well, uh, the impacts for the storm. So we've got tornadoes on the ground. We have tornadoes indicated by radar in several areas. First, we will take you uh, in to parts of uh, Mississippi. This uh, tornado warning right now is in effect until 6.30. Here are the areas. Now the storm is moving over Nettleton. Dangerous storm here. It's best to be in place in your safe place now. We have warnings throughout parts of Alabama as well. Here's one that's in effect. Uh, this is one until 6.30 as well, moving through Blunt County, and that's moving up towards Albertville right now. Uh, if we move farther south, there's another cluster of thunderstorms producing possible 
possible tornadoes indicated by radar uh, with uh, some large hail or some medium-sized hail, uh, three-quarters of an inch, so that's about penny size. Uh, that's moving up towards uh, Talladega Springs. Uh, here's a worn storm right here near Mineral Springs. That's likely where the tornado is sitting right now, and that's moving off to the north and east also. Uh, we do have another situation a little farther south, uh, this one near Alberta, another tornado warning here. This is until 6.30 local time, uh, uh, time. We have another one just north of that that is past Uniontown, and these are all racing off to the north and east. The lines are moving east. The individual cells are moving north and east. So. Uh, large hail, of course, tornadoes uh, likely uh, within these cells and many others that haven't even developed. And this situation will continue through tonight. They've already had reports up to 150 reports of severe weather tonight, Shep. What I don't understand is I looked to see when this was posted. And they said, well, it was noted as one hour ago. Obviously, if they posted it an hour ago, well... <laughs> then it was later than the warnings. Okay. I don't even know if you understand what I'm talking about, but yeah. Deep South facing major severe weather outbreak. Weather service warns. Okay. Um, I do recommend that you and I will link below to weather.gov, our National Weather Service. All right, they've changed it since the last time I clicked on. Um, tornado warnings all in yellow. So I guess Louisiana, you still have a Mississippi and Alabama. And you can click on an area where you live and check out what's happening. So, all right, f flash flood warnings now in these areas. Um, but the yellow, the entire area is a tornado warning. All right, it's five to eight. I'm in Montana, which means that it's uh, five to 10 in the south, 10 p.m. So the warnings are over. All right. They're saying that tonight is going to be bad. That's the reason why I'm posting this, because I just, all of you guys, you're in for a long night, and I'm sorry you are. So this is radar right now. The frequencies that I've been <laughs> capturing have been really intense for days. You still have, well, if you watched my silent video that I posted, I was talking about the extremely low frequencies uh, blasting away out of Louisiana. They're still blasting away. I also talked about this circling storm here. I guess the whole thing is the storm. The whole thing is the weather front. That's a wow weather front because they were talking as if these this storm up here, Oklahoma, Kansas, Missouri, is the same storm. But, you know, I should have taken a capture just a little while ago because it was so obvious that this was just a rectangle of a circling storm. And it was very uh, defined right here, which that is the signature of electromagnetic frequencies artificially induced by man. That is controlling the storm. Uh, go to College of DuPage and let's just check it out. You can see the extremely low frequencies right here. 
the circular pattern. Those are the high frequencies from Doppler radar, the sawtooth pattern, and our, our little vacuous square rectangle. I'll show you what it looked like earlier, or maybe not. It's pretty much the same. But as you can see, all of these circular patterns of precipitation, huge, intersecting, crossing one another, the high frequencies they emit into the ionosphere, when they release the frequencies, the ionosphere comes belting back down, shooting down extremely low frequencies. Yes, they can create tornadoes, hurricanes, earthquakes, flash flooding. But if you check out the circular pattern you will see it is loaded with artificially induced electromagnetic frequencies that is causing all of your severe weather and I really hope that all of you don't have to suffer the consequences They're bringing it on. Look at this. Look how nicely defined is this western portion of what they're calling this storm. And it's shooting off. Ah. Well, as far as I'm concerned, these are nanobots that are being activated. In the video that I have not taken down yet, posted a lot of the captures that I had. I'll just, uh, how about 10 a.m. this morning? Look at these frequencies from Texas right on in okay so this I guess what just evaporated and they moved up the storm that section they moved it up they can create instability in the atmosphere they can move air masses any which way they want. And you can see the air masses moved in a whole lot of different directions. And that is very dangerous. You can see them blowing up the clouds. You know, the water vapor stacks or the water coolers that create cloud. They also have nanotechnology. So don't don't show your ignorance by saying you're crazy. On my playlist, I have several videos uh, with evidence showing how they can create tornadoes. And I have several videos on nanotechnology. They're using it to create weather. But it's remarkable these frequencies um, are pushing the air masses. You can see the microwaves, the ripple effect, but you can see how it, it's the, the pushing of the air masses together um, or moving them at different speeds, all of which creates the instabilities that our mainstream media meteorologists talk about how, well, we've got these instabilities and now we have tornadoes and they never tell you the truth. Look at this. 
I mean, they're activating nanobots right here. All of these little dots in the atmosphere. But look at how they are pushing these air masses all over. Pushing them into one another. Pushing them in different directions. Holding other air masses stagnant. You're going to have severe weather. Look at this nice, nicely defined line of stagnant cloud. Look at south of Florida. All of these neatly, <clears throat> neatly defined little dots in the southern portion of Florida. Right nicely, you know, right on the borders of the coast. Nanobots. <sighs> Waiting to take their instruction. Be careful, everyone. Be careful. They're... This is really remarkable. But look at South Florida, how neat it is. And you guys in this area, check in with us. Let us know that you're okay. It really is unbelievable. Well, I guess I shouldn't say that because, well, we've been living this for years and years. This is at 5.17 p.m., which I believe I'm in mountain time. I don't even know. I moved to Montana, and I've, I don't, I forgot to turn my clock ahead an hour for two days. I was off time. But look at the right angled uh, signature right here in the cloud. You see the right angled. It's thicker on top. All of that is signatures of man's hand. Man's hand. But this little oh, area. Nicely defined. Well, that, I hope you all can see, is not Mother Nature. You have Doppler radar, these high frequencies, blasting away, bringing about the weather that you're experiencing. Destroying more businesses, destroying more homes. And I honestly do not know how most Americans can recover from what they're doing. I hope to God that they have strong families or friends that they can rely on. Stay safe, everyone. <laughs>